Well, we see it on all the models. Kim Kardashian has kind of made it famous. I'm talking about contouring, where we use makeup to make our features pop. It is the perfect way to create that perfect selfie. And no one knows how to do it better than Tim Maurer from Moo Cospa. Tim, good to see you. As always, a pleasure. Always a pleasure. And you have the beautiful Alex that you are going to show right. us some of the great techniques. Well, as, as we come in close, you can see a complete difference because half of her face is already done. So you can see the difference in the contouring underneath the cheek bone here at the temple. We've done it at the jaw. Look at the difference between the two sides of her face. It's sort of crazy. Her eye makeup has been contoured in the crease. Her nose has been done on the side and I'm going to show you how fast this can happen. Okay. So as you ask me any questions that you need to, Ms. Okay, Robin, while you do this quickly. Right. Because I, as somebody who maybe isn't so, you know, well versed, I guess, in, in makeup and what things take to put it together, this isn't a difficult technique. I feel like sometimes we get a little intimidated. Of course. Because especially you, you go online and you see people who've got, you know, 19 different colors Ooh, all the over clown their face. makeup, as I like to call it. Right. Yes. Right. Yeah. But that's not what you're saying, right? No. So all you have to do is remember that dark makes things recede, light makes things come forward. Okay. Okay, so if you want a feature to pop forward, like the front of her eye, like I'm doing right now with this light color, you put a light color all over it, and you can see that that pops that shape out. I've also contoured the sides of her nose to give her a little more straight nose. Everybody has a little kink in their nose. So if you take contour down that little kink, you can make it look like you've had rhinoplasty without the problems. And that's the thing. And without the pain. It can make, yeah, <laughs> it can make a giant difference in somebody's um, face. So when I traveled with Patty LaBelle on tour, she used to tell me that um, she could eat anything she wanted to the night before because I was just going to shave it off her cheekbone anyways. <laughs> I you, love you, it. You can use bronzer and highlighter to create an Totally new shape. And that's what I was going to say, the tools that you need. You only need a couple of things. You I need mean one brush, and the one I'm using is the absolute best for what I'm doing. You want a thin fan brush that fans out so that you're able to get underneath the bone. You're able to use it on its side to highlight the top of the bone. You can pull it into a tight piece to do the side of the nose. The people that sell you an 18-piece makeup brush set, <laughs> you'll never use 17 of them. Okay, so it's a total waste of money and time. So one brush, and as far as technique, though, if we're sitting here watching you, you've done it a million times, obviously. Of course. But how do we avoid the spackled on look? How do we avoid going one dark line? Oh, I thought that was going to work. First of all, use a product that has a lot of pigment and use very little of it. So we're using Muka, obviously, that has a ton of pigment and no filler. And because of that, I can move very quickly. And then your arm should hurt. If your arm <laughs> isn't sore, you have not blended enough. Blending is the key to not making it look like you're going to do a show in Tecumseh. Okay. <laughs> okay? We don't want to look like we're doing outdoor theater. So even though Tecumseh is a great show, by the way, if anybody's ever seen it, it's a lot of fun to go watch. We're not going for that look. You know, we don't want her to look like Sacagawea from that time period. So we're going for a very soft blend. I'm using several shades, but because I'm working the colors back and forth, you see how quickly I was able to do that? Right. It doesn't take any time. It's really not difficult. I'm using three shades. Stare at the ceiling for me, Alex. Now the same color I used in her eyebrows, and in her crease, I'm using as eyeliner. So we really believe, close for me, my dear, we really believe that it should take five minutes and it should take five products. And that's what I was going to say because you're a big advocate. The whole five minute face thing, that's, that can happen. And it's oh. not just a very simple, I just put mascara on. You're talking a full face of makeup with every kind of thing done, including the highlighting and contouring. I, so I cheated a little bit and had half of it done already. Right. But I did that so that the, the audience could actually see the difference. Because sometimes on camera, it's a little hard to see the tricks we're doing. Right. Now I'm showing all my tricks off. I'm, I'm really giving you the entire tool chest here, guys. So um, go ahead and use my goodies. So in all of this, too, fingers versus brush. I know a lot of times we do things with our fingers. Do people really need to use a tool to make this work? For contouring and highlighting, you need a brush. Okay. okay. Now, unless you're doing it with an airbrush, which, by the way, guys, I really don't recommend at home. <laughs> um, airbrushing is a wonderful tool in the right hands. Right. You got to know takes, how to use it. Really takes years to perfect, and in order to do it correctly, you need to be 12 inches from the face. When you do yourself at home with those brushes, you're very close, and you end up getting lots of hot spots, and you tend to look like a mannequin at Kohl's.
Okay, and that's Which is obviously a look. It's a look. <laughs> Not the know. one that you should be going for, however. <laughs> Tim, obviously Alex looks beautiful. We want to talk about the fact that you do some mini makeovers actually tomorrow. You talked about your relationship that you guys have had with Over My Head over at Bing Cancer Center. We're so excited. You're doing to be something here. really cool tomorrow. Yes, so we'll be meeting with actual patients of the hospital. Showing them how to use products that won't make them any sicker. So none of our products have parabens or sulfates, so they can't turn into estrogen in your body. Right. Almost every piece of skincare and makeup out there carries those two things in it as ingredients, and they turn into estrogen in a woman's body. If you're battling ovarian or breast cancer, the last thing you want is more estrogen. Right, and I was saying I didn't realize until I was going through that myself that y those things were in makeup. I mean, sometimes and we you don't eat think about a it as a pound women. of lipstick a year. So think about that. And you know, you're not gnawing on it, but it's going right. in there. Every time every you eat time a sandwich. Every time you lick your lips, every time right. you um, have a drink, some of it is going into your body. Okay. Well, if you are overwhelmed too at the whole highlighting and contouring, you can always go into Mukaw, have a makeup consultation. You can teach them the tricks. They're we, very simple. We actually do something super cool called a lesson where we do this whole look. Somebody's charting a face chart for us. We actually remove everything, and then you do it while I scream at you. Okay, it's yes. super awesome. It's Phone awesome. And website <laughs> on the screen. Tim and Alex, thank you guys for being here. Thanks for having us.